and welcome back to another weekend edition of Starbase Summary. This is for October 2nd through the 4th. Remember, if you want different ambient audio, click the gear and change the audio track. Kicking it off with Ship 30 over on the launch pad. No longer a full stack out there. Got some close-ups of the chopstick stabilizer, the drop-down stabilizers. And there's the ship lifting pin. It's the little trailer hitch looking thing there. One on either side that sort of pops into a little socket underneath the forward flaps of the ships. Still a lot of work happening on the chopsticks out there. Going to see some testing coming up. Quite family friendly testing as it turns out later in the video. Keep it classy, chat. There's a lot of smaller details now. You can see a lot of those uh, reinforcements, the big curved reinforcements that they added in. Remember the, the Frankenstick stitches are now painted over freshly, the nice black paint there. Say a long bird. It says long bird. <laughs> Good grief. In the comments, I'll put what type of bird that is. I'm not going to take a guess at it live. <laughs> Still over at Orbital Pad A, dump trucks going in and out, the moving of Earth. That, of course, is going to the other pad, Pad B, because some digging has been happening. Coming and going. Just a couple wide shots from Mary here looking over at the vehicle combination that might be launching sooner rather than later. Depends on who you ask. Some booster 14 work on the transport stand. Two SPMTs working as one. Interestingly, from the previous comments, I always do read a lot of the comments because I learn a lot. There's a lot of people with different specialties out there, so you don't typically refer to the SPMTs like it's just not a thing to say, oh, that's an SPMT. It's, it's more like the axle lines, which I assume is based on how much load they can carry. Like, the more axles you have, the more total load carrying capability you have. And the smallest unit of axle line modules is four axles. And then they put all those together to carry whatever load they're going to need to carry. So, two sort of SPMT units, each with a power pack, each comprised there of multiple four unit axis, uh, axle modules. Hey, it's interesting to talk about. It really is cool how they put those things together. A lot of work there. Of course, this is also back at the production site. You can see the building there behind it. There's a wider shot of the same. Massive thanks for Mary running out and catching detailed shots like this. Like, we'll see this thing come out and we'll tell Mary, we'll like ping Mary and let her know. And then she runs over and gets it. Sometimes she's already there and the answer is, I know. Because <laughs> she's always on the ball. But massive thanks to Mary for running out and catching all of these close-ups for you. Now, are those temporary railings in there? Look, is that glass on the middle railing? Maybe scroll back and look at that. It looked like there were glass panels. I don't know if I saw that incorrectly. Now I'm going to be counting axles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that one has ten axles on it. Hmm. Unless I counted wrong. Maybe I counted wrong. Another shot of the parking garage. They continue to both park vehicles in it and put whatever the heck this is on the side of it. Is it going to be some sort of big mural, right? Why does it have gaps in it? Are they just still working on it? Why do they have the, the siding on it? That's weird. Anyways. That, of course, is the second set of chopsticks and carriage, or I guess the carriage for the second set of chopsticks. This is an interesting sign that we observed. That big, massive crane was being lowered down. Here it is sort of from the, the end-on perspective. It makes the crane look way smaller than it is when you're just looking down the boom of it like that. But they laid it down. More to come on that later in the video. There up at the top of the screen, you can see the ship cutie arm is being retracted. And there's booster 14 in the evening and at night, I guess, rolling out to Massey's. Look, oh, look up in there. 
Look at the plumbing. You can see sort of the plumbing for the test stand there. How cool is that? Nice. The time lapse. Da -da 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 goes off into the distance. I wonder if you could map the road by the apparent height of the booster and the path that it takes. Anyways, if you're up for sunrise, there's Mary catching another sunrise there from the reflecting pool location. The tripod in the water, right? <laughs> Clearly to get that shot, you have to put the tripod in the water. From a similar sort of location back towards the production site. All of the, s the little housing, the little tiny house, temporary, I say temporary housing. I don't know how temporary it's going to end up being, but you see the row of houses there. All painted different colors. Some close-up of the catch rails. And a crane block there and a seagull in the background. I really do wonder how much longer that Stargate building is going to be there. The Stargate building was originally a university building, and it was the first largish building out there besides the village. The village is all independent houses, but it's sort of small compared to everything else that's been added now. There's a four-point lifter. You might see it abbreviated places as 4PL. Just a way that you can have a crane with a single attach point lift up a ship if I'm not mistaken are they doing some testing here are they working on it we'll see if we see some more progress on that later there it is again it looks like glass panels maybe it's something else that's just reflecting like glass but I is that going to be like observation decks to see stuff going by, or like an inside break area looking out over the, the end of the factory floor there? I really wonder what that's going to be. We keep seeing more and more of these OLM parts being delivered. Coming in on the big trucks, we see the angles. You've seen a couple of the different cool 3D artists try to put this together to see how it's going to fit. It's just a little prefabricated work platform. The combination of the foundation, like the piers that they put in over there at the Sanchez site. Next time I hear Sanchez site, it's the Sanchez site. I don't think it's the Sanchez site. Jeez. But anyways, they have the uh, pillars that they put in to construct something. Mary got this shot of the load testing water bags. The offshore 50TE, MIS offshore 50TE water bags bag in these big containers. I wonder if those are aluminum containers. They do look shiny. They don't look like they're regular steel. Maybe they're just painted shiny. They'll end up over here, coming up in the video, at the launch site. This is always a good one. The, the humans for scale, right? You sort of look at these boosters from a long distance and you're like, oh, okay, that's pretty big. That's a pretty big rocket. And then you see somebody hanging out on the top of it, like working like that. And you're like, whoa, let's zoomed in on the top of it. Back over to Massey's real quick. Booster 14 made it all the way over. Looks like we have a slightly different reflecting pool. Slightly more turbulent reflecting pool there. I think it's a little bit deeper water. Got some testing happening over there as they continue to march forwards. Waiting for those water bags to pop, pop up. They'll pop up over here shortly. But even here, like, okay, yeah, there's a, there's a truck. There's a little white truck down there. There's the big windy lift uh, boom trucks, the aerial work platform trucks. There they are going all the way up. But you look at this from this wider sort of view and you're like, yeah, all right, I guess it's pretty big. And then when you get one of those contact shots, like there's some people coming down the stairs, right? <laughs> You're like, wow, wait a second, those are people. The, tr the trucks look like toy trucks. This is the other side, the Deluge Farm over here. Still well outside of the SpaceX property sign, you could see. Going in and out of Ship 30. Everybody's appropriately tied off with their little auto-retracting 
retention harnesses. Well, I said appropriately tied off, and then I'm like looking at where the tie-off points are on, the, are on this thing. That's interesting. It was like solid black, and then it looked like it became a little white point at the uh, apex or the vertex where all the tiles came together there in the corners. Another shot for scale. Guy on the arm there walking back and forth with a... I couldn't quite see what it was. Was it a broom? Was it a roller on a stick? I don't know. That's the center of the chopsticks. Interesting how the chopsticks don't seem to exactly align there in the center. Those are the big uh, stops that sort of come together. And look at this. These plates that they're moving in the lower right-hand corner there. Look, here, here they are. They're the right-hand middle now. Interesting. That's a propane cylinder, or it's a sil it's a compressed gas cylinder of some port. It looks like the propane cylinder I use on my grill, but unlikely they're grilling up there on the work platform. Oh wow, we haven't seen a close-up of this in a while. Some work happening underneath the OLM. A bunch of those insulated pipes with insulation in various ways. Here, there's those big plates. They're doors. They're like swinging doors so you can access the booster cutie doing some, some painting there. That is cool. I hadn't specifically noticed that myself. There's a hatch they're coming up in and out of on the right-hand side. And then those massive with all the little uh, the, the bolt points to hold those big plates down. How cool is that? I hadn't seen that or I hadn't noticed that detail. Maybe I've seen it in a shot and just not recognized it for what it was. Eight people. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight headed up in those. Even here, it's like, oh, how tall is it? It doesn't look that tall. And then you get that wide shot. And you're like, wow. That little platform goes all the way up there, doesn't it? I, hmm. I really do wonder. I, I don't know that these sorts of lifts support a rapid cadence. Like, the cadence that, that Elon or SpaceX really wants for starships in the long term, I wonder if at some point you don't move towards these little fast, as in not a lot of infrastructure build time to use these things. You see these sort of fast... Is that like a little boat bumper buoy on the side of that one? You move away from that and you get towards more work platforms that sort of swing out to those normal positions that would be faster and safer when you're trying to process it over and over again. I really do wonder if we ever see a, a switch between those two sorts of things, you know? But here's the test bags. They're not simulating mass. They are mass. It's a way to put a significant amount of easily movable mass on a structure that you need to test. Easy to move the bags around when they are empty. Technically, there's a little bit of air in them, but the air doesn't weigh much. Compared to the surrounding air, it sort of cancels out. But here they're preparing all of the rigging and load points and attach points. This is going to be the actual simulator. I say simulator. It's more of like a, a jig that allows you to attach the weights to the places on the chopsticks where it would normally be born, right? So this is the booster attach points without the rest of the booster, basically. And you attach the bags to that on either side. Then you go up and you actually put those on the rails. Not quite yet. Jumping ahead. It's the Starship Tower Vehicle Simulator. It's got a part number on it even. But see how it has the little pins and it ha on the right-hand side there? And it's got the huge structure holding all of this together. And that big... Ah, oh, that's so cool. Then where the bags are attached, right? You can see the circle there. Gonna hop over to pad B really quickly. Look at that big pile of dirt. It had to come from somewhere. It's being dug out from the ground and then loaded into trucks. You can see the excavator, actually, the excavator's underground a little bit there. The truck is backing down into something. What might it be? <laughs> As they are removing that material. I could use some of that material, SpaceX. I got a place you could dump it if you need a place to just, like, dump material. It looks like it's useful material. I don't know. I'd have to consult an engineer to tell me if that's something I would want to build a foundation on or not. 
So the whole thing about the topsoil versus digging down some number of feet to more compacted soil, then adding new soil, then compacting it again. That's a whole different thing, though. Here's Hopper in the bathroom facility. <laughs> the foreground. It's like a little break area. Going to go all the way back to the Pez dispenser at the production site, looks like. Interesting. Rolling around a little casters with that little tow thing like you tow an RV with, a little hand-controlled rig. It's going to disappear out of sight around the building there. Okay, here we go. So this is what I was talking about. Light to move around while you're setting up, and then you pump mass into them. You actually pump water into those bags. You can see them get larger. Then you can see... Oh, some rain came through, apparently. You can see them get smaller. And look at this. Okay, this is cool. Empty bags, full bags. Empty bags, full bags. You can see the chopsticks taking the load. I think this... Are this is it 250 times 2 tons? Almost 500 tons total? Anyways, they continue to do work over there preparing for the catch. Always keep it up with that's with what's out at Starbase. Thanks to Mary and Starbase Live. Jack's been out there as well, but Jack's been doing videos and stuff. Thomas with the edit. What the Jack produced it? Well, I don't know how that works. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. I'm Daz. I'll catch you later.